It's Bill coming back at you again with another video and today we're going to be doing two different things. We're going to be harvesting the Robert Bergman's Gold Leaf Autoflower and we're also going to be doing an unboxing on the new Mars Hydro FC4800. Can't wait to see what this light can do. Okay guys, so first off, uh, I can't wait anymore. I got this package, I think it was Wednesday and uh, I want to see this light so bad so I'm gonna have to do that first so I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and we'll crack this box open and uh, we'll see what's inside okay guys so let's get into her I can't wait any longer all right let's cut there we'll cut here All right, hope I just didn't cut like a bunch of wires or something. Here we go. All right, look at that. Ain't that pretty. All right, let's see here. We have, of course, we have a user manual. Let's see if there's anything interesting in there first. Uh, assembly instructions, yeah. Dimming operations. We'll look at that when we get to it. Daisy chain. Uh, recommended hanging heights. Recommended lighting time. Grow tips. Pretty much everything they have in for all their lights. And the warranty. This breaks down your three-year warranty. All right. Enough of that. Let's see what we got here. All right, we have the daisy chain cable. So you can hook this light up to multiple other lights for the dimmer so that when you dim one, it'll dim them all. Keep them all the same strength. And of course we have hanging cables, a couple of ratchet ropes there. Okay, let's pop this off. All right. Okay, we have our power cord. So here's the driver. Uh, in, Inventronics driver dimming. It can dim from 10% to 100%. So I know from watching Mars Hydro's videos that you can attach this to the top of the light itself, but it also comes with this extra length of cable. So if you want to put your driver outside of the tent, if you have heat issues, then you could do that also. So. I think that's what I'll do maybe for the summer and for the winter I'll keep it right inside the tent so but yeah it's a solid driver all right enough playing around let's check this bad boy out Let's get rid of this box altogether. Okay, guys, there she is. Now, let's just take a look at the back here for a second. It's all aluminum design, so it's great for heat dissipation. Each separate aluminum heat sink uh, has these fins on it, so uh, that would be great for heat dissipation there, so uh, that's why there's no fan on it. All right, let's uh, open it up, see what it looks like. All right. There it is. That's a big light. Okay, so we have 2,070 diodes, LED diodes here. Uh, we have Osram reds, and we have LM301 uh, Samsung diodes, white diodes, and also there's some IR light in here also. So it gives us a full spectrum of light, uh, each, each heat sink has these little lips on it which will help to prevent it from losing light out to the side and it'll focus it more towards the plant so you're going to get better penetration than if those weren't there all right so let's plug this in i will hang it up in a minute but i want to plug it in now just to see what kind of light it has all right watch your eyes guys we're going to turn her on
there it is. So we can see the red Osrams, we can see the Samsung white lights, there's some cool whites there, some warm whites. Uh, total full spectrum of light here. So this is at 10% power only right now. So let me grab this driver and we're gonna turn it up together. So let's see how bright these go. So that's 10%. Let's put it up to 25. Now watch the lights. 25. All right, that's that's quite a difference. All right, let's let's take it right up to 50. Okay. Now we're cooking. That's that's pretty bright already. I'm going to grab my sunglasses just one second. So I just got these cool nifty uh, LED glasses from Canna. So I'm going to try them out here for the first time. Take this little sticker off. I guess it's on the inside. All right. Big difference. Okay, so if you're ever working around your LEDs, I definitely suggest getting yourself some good glasses that are made specifically for the LED spectrum lights they will really help your eyes and you won't be damaging them let me see if if I can show you here what it looks like through these glasses so there's without and there's with Let's zoom in a little bit here okay without and with quite a difference eh all right Let's stop messing around with glasses, Bill. Let's check this light out. All right, so. Now we are at. So we're at 50% right now. Let's hike this bad boy up to 75. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Max light. Boom. Look at that. Wow, that lights up this whole room like like you're on the beach in the middle of summer. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to turn it back down though because even with these glasses on, that's still really bright. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, uh, we've taken a look at it. looks fantastic. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my tent and I'm going to take down my SP3000 and my SP250. And uh, we're going to hang this in the place of that over top of the auto pot grow that I have going on. I'll see you back here in a second. Okay, guys, so there she is. She is all hooked up. I have her on 100% power, max power. And I did not mount the driver to the frame itself. I actually have it going out through the uh, vent hole and it is attached to the wall outside now i've had this up for probably about half an hour and uh let's see here okay there's not much heat at all up at the top here but like i said it's only been half an hour that might increase a little bit of light down here still not much but i also have a couple oscillating fans that are moving the air around in this tent so that'll help dissipate the heat so let's let's just quickly go out and check the driver to see how hot that is to the touch okay so i have it out here put the cords through this hole here i just set it on the lip of my door jam here so uh and it's it's not nailed in or screwed in or anything and it seems fairly secure and it is on 100 percent max power as far as heat that is getting a bit warm i can hold my hand there but i think after a while it would get uncomfortable so uh so that's the benefit of having the the two meters extra of cable so that you can move it outside your tent and that's that's quite a quite a distance so all right let's get back in the tent okay so uh, i flipped these girls this is my auto pot grow uh, I flipped them three days ago after I stripped them and did the Kyle Cushman technique on them. And uh, they're doing fantastic. So now they have this nice new light. Uh, really high power values. 
Uh, it should really blow them up. We'll be taking a closer look at these plants in a future video. But uh, yeah, really awesome light. The new Myers Hydro FC4800. Uh, if you want to get your hands on one of these, I have a link in the description. I also have a promo code that you can put in at checkout and it'll save you a few bucks off the price. Okay, for the next part of the video, let's just scan over here. Boom. So this is what we're going to be doing next. And we're going to be chopping down this uh, we're going to be chopping down this little autoflower. This is a Robert Bergman's gold leaf autoflower. She's finished. She's I was going to take her last week, but I uh, decided to let her go another week. She's ready to come down. Let's see if we can get a closer look. I have her pulled out a little bit, so. There she is. What do you think, guys? Really nice. Totally coated. Now, they're not the thickest flowers I've ever grown, but they're solid. These are really nice, really nice. And the smell, I would have to say I would almost put this in my top five for smells. Uh, I really like the last blueberry that I grew. The Bubba's Gift was really awesome, really citrusy. Uh, this one is, it's got a bent, bit of... It almost has a bit of grape. It has a bit of almost grapefruit. And if there was a fruit that tasted exactly like sugar, it has that smell too. It's like, it's just really fruity, sweet smell. Really nice. So anyway, she's, she's going to come down. So uh, anybody that hasn't seen this set up before, she is in the web. Now the web is an individual scrogging unit on wheels so you can move it around wherever you want and uh, you can scrog it and still get to the back of it and check it out for Hermes mold bugs whatever you need to do but anyway it just gives you the mobility back while you're scrogging so this one wasn't grown in the web I just set it in here about three weeks ago when I got the web and uh, it's helped out a lot even just with that because if I didn't have this on there, I would be tying these nugs up because they're pretty solid and heavy. So uh, it's helped out a lot. Now, once I harvest this, I will be doing a grow in this in the web and using it for what it's intended for. For scrogging out, I'll be starting lower and doing a couple layers of scrog on this. So uh, stay tuned for that in some future videos. But for now, let's take this girl down. So I'm going to set you up on the tripod and get in here and chop her down. So first off, I have a couple tied up here. I'm just going to release those. And then we're going to take, unfasten the web from the unit. Okay, and then I'm just going to slowly pick this up gently. I don't want to I don't want to hit I don't want to do any damage to these buds. Okay. So we'll take the web off and there we go and now time to bring out the Fiskers all right let's do this this is gonna hurt me more than it's hurt you sweetheart okay there we go
flip her upside down. And I'm gonna hook her right there. Okay, so there she is. Nice little haul off an auto flower. And uh, we can see here the training that was done. There was no LSD, there was no topping, there was no femming. Uh, the only thing I did with this was I lollipopped and I selectively defoliated during different stages of grow to keep uh, a fairly even canopy. Pretty much the same technique I used for this in veg. So uh, anyway, she turned out great. Let's, uh, let's get right down here. see here yeah she is she's fantastic wow she smells something furious now but uh, anyway so there she is so I just hung her on the uh, the light rails here that are on the web itself for now I will be taking it into the closet my drying closet and uh, drying it out in there and I think I think I can leave it as one plant. Now I will be stripping off a few more of these fan leaves before I put her in to hang in the dark and uh, get a nice 10 day cure on her. And then we'll trim her up. Now, let's see here. She is, uh, she's pretty heavy. And uh, these buds are, these buds are really dense. So I think, I think for sure I'm going to get probably seven or eight, seven or eight ounces off of this. Now where we lollipopped quite a ways up here, uh, there's not a whole lot of larf and e even the bottom stuff. I mean, that's still, that's still fairly solid. So that's going to be a nice bud there too. Um, there's really not a whole lot of popcorn here. I mean, even that one is still... Oh God, the smell, mm, that's amazing. But even that one is, uh, is gonna be a good quality smokable bud. So yeah, not too much waste here at all. And uh, super happy with this. So this girl, she was grown in pro mix soil. She was fed general hydroponic maxi bloom from start to finish uh, with a little, bit, a little bit of calcium and magnesium when needed. She was fed every day till runoff and she was grown under the Mars Hydro TSW2000. Uh, it was great light for this size plant. And of course, as we mentioned earlier, she was finished off in the web for extra support. Anyway, fantastic grow, and thank you guys for following along with me on this one. Uh, I'm, I'm super happy to get it down, but I'm definitely gonna be growing more of this. I really like this strain. So uh, yeah, she also came from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com. So if you wanna check them out, I have a link in the description. If you wanna get your hands on some of these, uh, they come in autos, which this is, and they also come in photo periods, which I grew like a month ago or something. Okay guys, so uh, we got the gold leaf chopped down and, we, and we've unboxed and hung up the Mars Hydro FC 4800 LED full spectrum grow light. Uh, amazing light super bright i think it's going to do great for this grow so uh, if you want to continue following along with this grow see how the light is doing see how the girls are doing in the auto pot system be sure to like share subscribe leave a comment down below and we'll see you on the next one happy growing